I'm here to tell you the story of the accidental discovery of artificial dyes. So William Henry Perkin discovered Movine in 1856. He was trying to make quinine. Instead of making quinine, Perkin ended up with a black powder. But he didn't throw the black powder away. He experimented on it and found that he could use it to dye fabric purple. Here we have a sample of fabric dyed with Movine that was used to make a dress worn by Queen Victoria in 1860. After Perkin made Movine, a kaleidoscope of artificial dyes began to appear on the market. However, as with many new scientific developments, there were teething problems. These artificial dyes would fade easily, as can be seen here in this sample of cotton fabric that was dyed with Movine in 1860. You can see the spots where the dye has faded. The chemical structure of the artificial dyes was fairly unstable and the dyed material would fade in the sunlight. James Morton had inherited a family textile company. To test how well dyed fabric lasted under the sun, James Morton sent some samples of fabric out to his brother-in-law who lived in India. Morton instructed his brother-in-law to leave samples of different fabrics on the roof of his house in the full glare of sunlight. What Morton found in these experiments is that some dyes lasted better under the sun than others. So here you can see a selection of dyes that lasted quite well under the sun, but he found that some dyes, and here we've got a sample of his competitors' dyes, they didn't last very well under the sun at all. In fact, you can barely recognise them. So Morton looked at which dyes lasted better when placed in full sunlight and got his chemist, John Christie, to make dyes based on those results. Morton marketed his dyes to high-end fashion chains like Burberry's and Liberty's. He marketed them based on the fact that his dyes would not fade. And here we see an advert placed by Burberry's in the Queen's magazine. The Queen magazine was quite a high-end magazine and you can see that they're advertising dyed fabrics where the dyes are indelible, they won't fade in sunlight. You can even see a reference here to the experiments that James Morton made in India. From Perkin's accidental discovery of Movine to Morton's mission to find dyes that would not fade, the objects here tell the story of the relationship between chemistry and fashion. Subscribe to the Science Museum channel to watch more stories from the stores and discover other fascinating science stories.